Here's your latest headlines with Sierra Tufts from the Wayne.com studio. Thank you for joining us. It is Thursday, May 2nd. Here are your afternoon headlines. The Allen County coroner ruled a toddler's, homis, uh, toddler's death rather a homicide. The coroner says 23-month-old Daylani Hollis Daniels died due to a gunshot wound to the head. Again, that's been ruled a homicide. The shooting happened back on, back on January 27th on Shawnee Drive. According to court documents, the father, Trayvell Daniels, is charged with neglect of a dependent resulting in death. As of now, he is out on bond with monitored release. We'll update you if those charges change. Court documents say Daniels told police he put a gun under his pillow, then put the child to bed where the gun was. Ten minutes later, he heard a gunshot and realized the child had been shot. Again, we'll update you if charges change and if we learn more. The chapel at the Veterans Memorial Bri Veterans Memorial and Shrine, excuse me, has been dedicated. This is called Sterling Chapel. It's in honor of a longtime Daughters of the American Revolution member. The shrine is located at 2122 O'Day Road. Ahead of the primary next week, we're looking back at Wayne 15's election coverage over the last 70 years. This is part of our Platinum Perspective series. We'll let you know how technology has changed our election coverage. You can see that tonight during the news at 6. Plus, speaking of technology, you can expect to see live coverage on Wayne.com at 7 p.m. The day of the primary, we'll have a stream ready for you to give you what we're seeing at the polls and what we're seeing at the Democratic and Republican headquarters or parties that they're having. Coming up today, though, we will let you know more about the Indiana State Police Annual Memorial. Plus, we'll take a look at the impact of the Vera Bradley annual outlet sale and how that impacts the economics in the area. Plus, we're going to share the story of a University of St. Francis student that learned who learned she had cancer while in one of her medical classes. See that story later on tonight. All right, looking at those weather headlines, sunshine is sticking around for a little bit longer and it definitely feels like summer outside. We do have some evening showers and storms heading our way. We'll take a look at that in right now. You can see off to the west, that is that storm system that will be heading our way. Things are looking pretty clear right now. Little clouds off to the west, which we'll experience as we get into the later parts of the afternoon. Nothing severe as of yet, but that can always change in India during this time of year, of year. So make sure you're checking in on Wayne.com and using that Wayne weather app as we get closer to the evening hours. We'll take a look if those do end up turning severe. Again, as of right now, not looking like it. Looking at your hourly planner, mid 70s in the next hour, then we slowly creep up to those lower 80s. You can see once we get into the later parts of the evening, we start to see those shower and storm chances increase. The sun will go away and we'll start to see more or cloud cover. The good news though, look at that Parkview Field looking absolutely beautiful. So you still have some times to enjoy your evening and outdoor plans or even just an afternoon lunch outside if you haven't done that yet. Things looking okay for the early parts of your dinner hour if you do want to grill out. Looking at your exclusive 10 day forecast, those shower chances will continue overnight. And despite having that front move in, our temperatures are only cooling off tomorrow to the mid 70s, so not too bad there. Our weekend looking pretty spectacular. Small chances to see some rain on Saturday, but those temperatures in the mid 70s, starting the work week off in the same area, mid 70s temperatures, as well as a small chance to see some rain. Election day on Tuesday, warm temperatures, lower 80s, but we do have a chance to see some showers and storms. Things stick around the mid 70 degree mark until we reach next week. Around the weekend start, we'll see temperatures dip down to the lower 70s and then upper 60s for the weekend. Still a while out, so that could change as we get closer. And that wraps us up for the noon hour. We'll see you back here at 4 p.m. Hope you have a great day in the meantime.